in this video, the Python copy list method. So let's start with a look at the docs. The copy list method takes no arguments and it returns a shallow copy of the list. It's also equivalent to this slice notation. So what's important here is that it's only going to return a shallow copy and in this video we're going to have a little bit of a discussion around shallow copy versus deep copy and the different types of copying of lists that occur in Python. So I know this might sound a little bit vague, so we'll get into some examples now. So let's start with a simple list. In this case, we'll do a equals one, two, three. And the most basic way, I guess, to copy a list would be b equals a. And so now b equals one, two, three as well. And you might, if you know Python, you might know a little bit about references to lists and references versus shallow copies, deep copies, etc. And we're gonna get into that. And so what I want to show you first is, let's say we modify A. So A is one, two, three. And let's say we modify it such that A now equals empty string, okay? So this is A, and this is B. And you might be saying, wait, we never modified B. Well, we did, because we modified the reference. We modified A, and that in turn modified B. As a side note, there's actually a perfect stack overflow answer for you. And this is this guy had the exact same situation. And he said, well, when I did new list equals my list, any modifications to new list changes my list, right? And so this is a very common question. You know, it's got close to 2 million views. And the answer is gonna talk about exactly what I'm talking about in this video. So he's saying with new list equals my list, you don't actually have two lists. You just have a copy of the reference of the original list. And so if you want to avoid that situation where copying the original uh, modifies the, the second list, then you have a bunch of options. So we have the copy list method, we have the slice notation, and then uh, we get into some other ones as well. Uh, you can use the list built-in function, you can use the copy library, and you can do deep copies. So we're gonna get into all of this in this video. So let's go back to the terminal, let's clear this up a bit, and let's create a new list. So we'll do once again, A equals one, two, three, and B equals none. So we have A, we have B, all right. Next, what I wanna do is instead of B equals A, we're gonna do B equals A dot copy. And again, copy takes no arguments. So we run this, and now we have b equals 1, 2, 3, okay? So a is equal to 1, 2, 3, b is equal to 1, 2, 3. And in our previous example, what I did was a um, at index 0 equals empty list, okay? So that's a. And so what do you think b is going to look like now? Is b going to have an empty list as the uh, first index? Yes or no? Well, it's not. Uh, because we used the copy list method and that created a shallow copy. So now we don't just have a reference, we have an actual copy. And that's why these two lists are different now. Now if you want to see it one more time, we could use the slice notation as well. And so we could do a equals one, two, three, right? And then we could do b equals a with the slice notation. And then we can come back to a, b, and we'll do a zero equals, I don't know, let's say test, okay? So now we have a, now we have b, and b again is not modified. So just showing you that at a shallow copy perspective, you have two options. You can do uh, b equals a dot copy, or you can do b equals a with the slice notation. So those are two options that are going to be better for you, uh, better than just doing B equals A like that. So this one, uh, of course, hopefully this is clear to you now that this is gonna have a very different outcome than B equals A with the slice notation or B equals A with the copy list method. So the next thing I wanna do is talk a little bit about deep copies. And we can go back to this Stack Overflow question because it actually has a pretty good uh, explanation of when you might use a deep copy. So this answer says, if the list contains objects and you want to copy the objects as well, use the generic copy.deepcopy. 
And so we'd have to import this library and then we can do copy dot deep copy and then, you know, pass our old list to the argument. And so this might not be clear. Okay, what's a shallow copy? What's a deep copy? So let me show you. So I think the best way to have a discussion about deep copies is to show you the shortcomings of a shallow copy. And so what I'm going to do is create a list with a nested list. And so let's call this one test. So this is our nested list. There's a list inside our list. And so normally we would do a b equals a dot copy, right? So now b and a are the same. Uh, we have our list with our nested list. Now let's remind ourselves that in the Stack Overflow question, it says that if the list contains objects and you want to copy them, that's when you want to use deep copy, right? So here we have an object that is a list, a nested list, right? And so what we're going to do is uh, let's, let's look at our index for two. So we know that it's a list, okay? And so let's look at what's inside that list. So we'll do this and see we have test. And so next what I want to do is actually reassign this and put something else in there. So let's just call this something else. Okay. So now a is one, two, and then a nested list with something else. And so when I go to B, B has now been modified and B now says something else. So if you remember from our original example, when we used uh, dot copy, um, we were no longer uh, we were no longer having it get modified, right? Because it wasn't the it wasn't the reference. Now it was a copy, so we thought that we kind of froze it in time, uh, but we didn't. We actually only froze it at the upper level, and now it's getting modified because this is a nested object. And so what you would have to do if you didn't want this to happen is let's say we had uh, a again. So a is one one two test. Uh, what you would want to do is import copy and then we would do B equals uh, copy dot deep copy a and so now we have B and then so if we ran this exact same thing uh, where we changed the something else right so a is one to something else B is now test so you see the difference that made uh, so before our B got modified so you can see this, right? B got modified uh, because of what we did. But this time, B did not get modified because we had a deep copy. So basically, the difference between uh, shallow copy and deep copy is uh, the way I like to think about it is when you're talking about nested lists and nested values. So if you have a list that has no nested values, like just a simple one, two, three, shallow copy is going to be sufficient. But once you start getting into nested lists, probably for, for dictionaries as well, and nested lists uh, in particular, once you have these copies, if, if you really don't want uh, these values to get modified, if you really want to kind of freeze them in time, quote unquote, that's when you want to whip out the deep copy. So in this video, we've talked about references, shallow copies, deep copies, and if you're newer to Python, this might be a little bit over your head. But uh, the general idea is that you need to be aware of references. You need to be aware of when you're copying one list to another, when you're copying variables to another, that the reference to the original, if you're modifying the original, uh, that can lead to unintended consequences. So we've looked at a lot of different things. We've looked at you know an A equals B type situation. We've looked at A equals B dot copy type situation. Uh, we've looked at you know copy dot deep copy, right? So there's all these options available to you, and you need to know what's going to work best for you. Of course, you might be thinking, oh, well, I'm just going to deep copy every single time. Of course, uh, that's not going to be as fast and there's going to be uh, speed limitations to doing so. So I think that's why people don't reach for deep copies every single time. But I think in general, uh, doing the copy is a little bit safer than doing the straight reference. I almost never do a straight reference to, to another variable because I know how dangerous it is uh, when, you're mod when, when that original could potentially get modified. 
So I hope in this video you guys have learned a little bit more about references, shallow copies, deep copies. It's a pretty big subject. I'm not saying I'm the expert, uh, but we've looked at a few things and hopefully now you can go along and play with this yourself in the terminal, in your programs, in your code. And I think this is an important data structure to get a handle on. So all I want to say is thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.